My name is Alex Swarbrick. I'm a group leader in the Cancer Research Program of the Garvin Institute. Our research um, focuses on uh, problem cancers, you could call them. So these are cancers that are difficult to treat and for which clinicians have a lot of trouble predicting how they're going to behave. Um, and we focus on two types of cancers. One is a childhood cancer called neuroblastoma and the other one is a type of breast cancer called basal breast cancer. And in both these cases, clinicians have a lot of trouble predicting the outcome for individual patients and, and knowing how best to treat them. And the other problem in the clinic, of course, is that they don't have targeted therapies against these cancers. So the, the treatment for these cancers is still really surgery, radiotherapy and chemotherapy. Our research, what we're trying to do, is to um, use modern genetic tools to be able to predict the behaviour of these cancers and ultimately to develop new treatments for them. The discovery that we published last year was looking at a particular gene, uh, which is a microRNA, in these childhood cancers, neuroblastomas. Uh, and we showed that the neuroblastomas are very dependent upon this microRNA for their aggressiveness. And if we block that microRNA with a drug, we can block the ability of the cancer cells to grow uh, and, and the tumours actually shrank. Um, so what we want to do now is to go into other cancer types, primarily breast cancer, and discover equivalent microRNAs and other genes that are performing similar functions. We think the particular one we found in neuroblastoma is perhaps particular to neuroblastoma but we're confident that in other cancer types, like in breast cancer and in melanoma, for example, that other microRNA genes will be performing similar functions, promoting the survival and aggressiveness of these cancers. Well, I guess teamwork is everything to, to really make uh, headway in, in modern cancer research, and this has been a huge team effort. I'm uh, just one part of that. We have international collaborators, national collaborators, and a number of people in my group who've all made really major contributions to our research. And so finding the right people to, to spark off each other is really the key, and it makes us not only have good discoveries, but it makes doing this job incredibly enjoyable.